Anna Brogan is on her third project in her Pathways Development. This project required that she research and learn on a specific subject and share it with you today. Here to inform you about how your brain works in a social capacity, I need this speech. Please help me welcome Anna Brogan with her speech titled, Perception. whether they believe in a multiverse. Now before we get into a debate on alien life forms and whether or not Roy is one of them, <laughs> I want you all to consider this answer. Yes. Yes, because as many people as are alive in the world today, there are that many universes going on around you. With so many universes come individual perceptions of the shared world around them. I want to discuss today the importance of perception, common errors of perception, and how we as humans can do better regarding the subject of perception. Perception both creates our experience and dictates how we act during that experience. It's a set of unconscious processes that we undergo to make sense of the stimuli, and sensation we encounter. When you step out into a chilly night, your brain doesn't have to be told cold because the stimuli activates that process automatically. Your brain goes through a perceptive process of selection, organization, and interpretation to tell you that you're cold. The same is to be said for social perceptive process. Usually subconsciously, your brain selects the stimuli that it's going to pay attention to, it organizes how you feel about it, and then it interprets what you're going to do with that information. Take, for example, the experience of a song. Raise your hand if you know who the Eagles are. Sorry, the Eagles are. <laughs> so we all know the song Desperado. Awesome. So with lyrics, like, you better let somebody love you before it's too late. It's not necessarily the most jovial song, but it's also not a tearjerker. What if I were to tell you that for me, for the rest of my life, that song will be a tearjerker? And we're not talking like, like a little trickle tearjerker, we're talking ugly, squishy face, can't stop the runaway train that are my tears, tearjerker. That song brings back memories of watching my dad play it as his signature song in his living room band at almost every barbecue ever as I was growing up. His passing last month took my perception of Desperado from dreamy and nostalgic to, oh my god, where are the tissues, why did I wear mascara today? Therefore, my perception creating my experience of that song. Now on the flip side, imagine you're on a first date with me. Not to be pompous, but should you be so lucky? <laughs> Smart enough to get a higher level job? 
But then you find out she's putting herself through nursing school and she's going to be saving lives soon. And finally, for the people that don't know who the Eagles are, how could they possibly think that their music is awesome? <laughs> <laughs> All of these errors in perception are exactly that. Errors. After what I've shared with you today, doesn't it seem like the biological process of perception would at least maybe make us as humans give other humans a chance to defend their point of view before writing them off? I believe it's a mistake as humans for us to pigeonhole ourselves into our singularly perceived universes without acceptance and empathy for our fellow Earth dwellers. Bias, stereotyping, and prejudice can be overcome quite simply by remembering that perception both creates your experience and dictates how you act during that experience. This is not an excuse for people to behave badly but rather a challenge to change your perception into asking why that behavior happens. <clears throat> we all know someone that has that magnetic effect on people where they get strangers to say things that they don't, that they don't normally tell strangers, right? Not to be pompous. <laughs> that effect is not a magic trick. It's not a genetic trick. It's not rocket science. It's understanding, and it's acceptance, and it's empathy. I think humans are capable of doing better when it comes to understanding how others view the world. After all, basic human nature tells us it's okay to be more open with someone if they're not judging you for your existence. I hope that your perception of this speech causes you to take a moment to try and understand someone else's universe. If so, I will perceive my morning as a success. Thank you.